hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel i have not filmed the video in a while my work schedule has been so busy and honestly this video is long overdue but hopefully it helps any of you about to start house job here in nigeria and you know this video gives you an insight as to what house job is like how to prepare and some tips on how to like make the best out of house job so yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to my youtube channel i am a doctor here in nigeria and i make videos about medicine and lifestyle okay so yeah let us begin so what to know before starting housemanship in nigeria if you're not a nigerian medical student or a nigerian doctor so housemanship is actually your intern year so when you graduate from medical school you need to do internship for one year as a doctor so where you rotate through all the major departments so surgery pediatrics o and g and internal medicine you rotate through all these departments for 12 weeks and after doing this then you get your full license so first of all you write your licensing exam they give you the provisional license and then you practice medicine for one year which is house job that's housemanship and then you finish and then you get your full license so that is the procedure so the first thing i think you need to know before starting housemanship is this first of all before you pick a place you need to reach out to people that work in these hospitals that you want to go to so if you already have a couple of hospitals in mind you can go to like the telegram group and then like reach out to people and ask you know um how is the working environment is the hospital toxic is the workload a lot do you get opportunities to learn these are things that you need to know you need to also ask does the hospital offer accommodation um, are the doctors friendly? Like there's so many things that people that work in that hospital can actually tell you and like will make your decision making easier. For me, when I was thinking of a place to go to, it was a big struggle. And you guys know my story because I vlogged about it. A lot of my mates that I wrote exam, the MBCN exam, which started in September, but I decided to delay and start in January because um, I had what I wanted in mind and um, I was willing to wait for it. I had some other options, but I chose to either not go for the exams or go for the interviews and just wait for what I wanted. And also, some of the working environment of these places <laughs> was not something I was actually willing to put myself through. So, like, I had people i had already approached about different hospitals to find out what it was like there and i think that is something that everyone should do number two before you start housemanship i feel like you should rest as much as possible as you guys know i started going to the hospital trying to get some clinical experience um, because i studied in china and i also did my internship in china my clinical experience was very limited so i felt you know i needed to go to a hospital in nigeria you know um get some hands-on experience before starting housemanship and after starting housemanship i realized that that was totally unnecessary because i felt like um, i may be the only doctor that you know doesn't know how to do certain things but <laughs> it's so funny because all of us don't know a lot of things even the nigerian trained doctors there are so many things that they don't know and like where we all learnt it along the way it's something we all learnt together like there was no pressure or like nobody made you feel bad for not knowing anything so i feel like it's very important that you spend the time before house job resting because whatever you feel like you need to learn you actually learn it when you start so i just felt like you know people will feel like i'm supposed to already know these things but like nobody ever treated me that way and like a lot of things that i did not know at the beginning i was able to learn as you know the job went on but the work schedule has been so busy and like i try to prioritize rest every possible opportunity i get so that's why i feel like it's very important for you to rest as much as possible before you actually start the house job number three everyone is a beginner like you so you don't feel alone just like what i said before i felt like 
oh maybe people that studied in other places will know more than me or like they'll be better than me and people may see me as the least or things like that but coming to start i realized that we are all like learning everyone is knowledgeable in different aspects and we're all here to learn and house job is actually a learning um experience a learning process like nobody expects you to come there with your head full with like all the information no you're actually supposed to do house jobs so you can learn as much as possible so if you feel like you don't know anything before you start that is totally all right and you will learn on the job number four if you can be close to family or like any relatives i feel like that is important you need as much emotional support as possible because it can be really really stressful and like if you have family to help you know take the load off you like maybe cook for you um you know help you buy some things bring for you when you're working or when your schedule is too busy to run some personal errands i feel like that will really help because like if i tell you I've been doing house job now for two months now and today that I'm filming this video is the first day that I am actually free and like I don't have to be in the hospital. It's like every day I have to actually be in the hospital even if I may not work the full hours but I have to go to work but today is the first day that I am actually free and that's why I can even sit down and film this video now. So if you have family support, I feel like it's really good and you should take advantage of that. Number five, I would say take care of your health. In one of my vlogs, I was telling you guys about how, you know, I was not eating at the beginning. I was so, I was like pushing myself to work, 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 you know, because I was new and like, I really did not understand how things worked. But now I like, Take care of myself i put myself first if i've not eaten i would find the opportunity to leave and get something to eat because like you need to actually take care of yourself and if you don't there might not be time for you to eat yes because there's always something to do so you have to create time for yourself to eat next i would say try to have a life outside of house job outside of the hospital although it can be very busy but i feel like it's very important that you don't lose yourself this is something that i have been consciously trying to do trying to do things outside of the hospital even youtube like youtube has taken like a step back because like work has been so busy but i also want to try to not allow that to happen because youtube is you know equally as important to me so like it can be very overwhelming but it's very important to like create a balance which i'm trying to do and i'm just like realizing how important it is like house job is just for one year and at the end of the one year you should still have friends to go back to you should still have relationships family like you should not just put everybody aside because you're doing house job and because it is so busy you know things that are important to you your hobbies you know they should um you should still be able to find a way to put them in your schedule you get what i'm saying yes so the last thing i want to say is that you should start preparing for life outside of house job it is one year and you know this one year like moves very fast so right from the beginning you need to know your plans for after house job you need to know what you want to do if you want to write exams if you want to write primaries if you want to do nyc whatever you want to do you need to already start planning you need to start saving your salary saving money preparing for what next because before you know it one year is over house job is over and you're like okay so what now and like i feel like that is quite late for you to be thinking of what now because you could have you know done all the plannings like much earlier so these are the things i have to say for now concerning what you should know about house job overall it is very stressful it is much more stressful than i actually thought but i feel like it's possible to find the balance wherever you're working it's possible to actually find like tricks to actually make it not as bad and yeah that's all for now if you have any questions you know leave it in the comment section like i have been in orthopedics units for a while now and we're doing calls 
for a week so we do weekly calls so next week i'm going to be on call and it's like i'm going to start working from monday 8 a.m till monday 8 a.m of the next week so i'm working for a week straight you can imagine i was telling my friend in another hospital about this and she was so shocked like how on earth are you doing one week call but like that is how it is in my own hospital in some hospitals it's not like that and the schedule is lighter but my hospital is quite big and i feel like we are greatly understaffed so that's why like i had to work for a week straight <laughs> um so hopefully i'll try to vlog my one week call for you guys and try to you know show you and explain as much as possible because <laughs> It's not easy vlogging in the hospital. I also have some like previous hospital vlogs. When I was in pediatric surgery, I made like two vlogs, so you guys can go check it out. Yeah. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I wish you all the best as you start your house job. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye.